Hey everyone, welcome back to Mix Vids. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell below so you don't miss any of the content I publish. Alright, let's go. Big news with big moves in the crypto space for the past two days. This morning, woke up to a sea of green, guys. Currently, Bitcoin is at 7,900 USDs and still up about 37% for the past seven days. XRP is currently at 39 cents and that's about 32% for the past seven days. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. As long as the big dog Bitcoin is up, that helps pull up all of the other altcoins. And this is great because I'm a big XRP fan. So I recently was searching the web and found some more news in the crypto space. Let's go over to some of the stuff I have found. Ripple exec blockchain crypto will have a role in U.S. tech independence. All right, this sounds good. Let's go. Technology needs to be a national issue for United States with digital currency and blockchain to be recognized within that goal. According to Ripple's director of regulatory relations, Ryan Ziguan, at the Consensus 2019 conference on May 14th. Zigon states that the technology needs to be a national security issue for the U.S. to ensure that the country is the leader and is not reliant on foreign innovation. Hmm. I get it. I get what they're, they're trying to say. They don't really want to be independent on anybody. All right, let's go on. There is a broad discussion in Washington around 5G beginning dominated by foreign firms in the US being reliant on foreign technology and foreign expertise within the blockchain and crypto I think there is a recognition now that there will be a part of our future infrastructure it's important both for national security and from an economical perspective that the US is the leader in that. Alright guys, well, you know, the US wants to be a leader so they better step up and get those regulations in place. Alright guys, I will leave the link as always below for this ad if you want to go over it more. This is a little bit of more content about this. Alright, let's go see what else I found. Alright, this also from Cointelegraph. Alright, and also this from Cointelegraph. Hyperledger rolls out a suite of blockchain tools for interoperability. Yeah, that's a little tongue twister there. Hyperledger has introduced a set of tools dubbed Hyperledger Arise, aimed to interoperability of different types of blockchain database. The company announced the development in a blog post on May 14th. Hyperledger Arise is a set of tools that purportedly enables the exchange of blockchain based data support peer-to-peer -peer messaging and facilitates interaction between blockchains and other distributed ledger technology. Per the post, Hyperledger rolled out the project in order to provide a code of peer-to-peer -peer interaction and advance interoperability amongst other objects. The production includes a blockchain interface layer, cryptographic wallet, encrypted messaging system, application programming interface like use case and other tools. Hmm. 
in February, Intel, which is a member of the Hyperledger collaboration, launched a commercial blockchain package based on Hyperledger ecosystem designed to for businesses that want to launch their own blockchains. This is great, guys. Man, this is great news. It seems like everything is coming into into place uh, at the right time. You know, we can't rush or anything. We want everything to be regulated and pretty much seamless so it's more trusted um, and easy to use. All right, so this is great information. Once again, I will leave the link down below and you can go over it yourself if you want to read more into this. All right, let's go on. This from CCN. Game Changer. Crypto Prime Dealer unveils FDIC insured accounts. Guys, this is exactly what we want. This is what we were waiting for. This is so everybody is more comfortable with the crypto space and that hopefully mass adoption by CCN crypto mass adoption hopefully rejoice FDIC protection is here guys oh man oh man yeah so this is exactly what we are waiting for cryptocurrency prime dealer S Fox is partnering up with M Y Safara Bank of New York to offer traders and investors deposit accounts backed by Federal Deposits Insured Corp. This is what we want. The partnership makes marks the first time the FDIC insured has surfaced in the crypto dealer model, according to S Fox blog. The arrangement will enable traders direct access to their funds for fast global crypto trading Wow! up to now the FDIC seemed to be avoiding the crypto space so let's go on breaking news just announced segregated accounts that are FDIC insured Government-backed insurance is a big step towards mass adoption for regu regular customers. <laughs> the virus is spreading, guys. The virus is spreading. All right, guys. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, this is what we really need, what we wanted, and what we are looking for. And it looks like it's on its way. We are starting the, the first steps into regulations and it looks like it's starting here so there's a little bit more content below that you can go over it seems great and um, we are in the beginning of a new era guys a new era and what I will do is leave the link again below for you guys to uh, read more of the content that I have found on the web and remember this is just for entertainment purposes only and thank you for stopping by mixed vids and hope to see you later